I'm going to give you the uh, the characteristics that that goddess wants to bring forward for the meditation. And it, it seemed very fitting because when we moved into, when our planet moved into the sign of Aquarius, Aquarius is the feminine energy. So um, it just seemed fitting that, that this take place. All right, so find a very comfortable place to either sit or lay, lie, lie down, and take, gently close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and exhale, another deep breath in, exhale, and a third deep breath in, and exhale. And first and foremost, the Reiki share is for us, us individually as a practitioner, as a truth seeker, as a giver of light. So we place ourselves first. Then alongside of ourself, we place anyone that we have as an intention for healing for today. And then I ask for the whole country of Ukraine to be placed there. And then I ask for Putin to be placed there. And we connect to a golden ball of light. And we see it as part of our soul star, 12 inches above our head. This golden ball is the energy of God. And we bring it down through our crown, through our third eye, through our throat, through our heart, through our solar plexus, through our sacral, through our root. And we also send this golden ball into our earth star, 12 inches below our root. And we connect with the earth energy. And we send that golden ball of light into our, the center of the earth. And we bring up earth energy. And we feel grounded, centered, aligned, balanced. And we bring up the energy of the golden ball and place it once again into our root. And the goddess that steps forward from our root is Mother Mary. She is the queen of the heavens, the mother of us all. She conceived 
through light. And she is bringing her energy. And as she brings her energy into us, she enfolds each one of us and enfolds our intentions and enfolds the whole country of Ukraine and enfolds the aggressor, enfolds Putin in her mantle. She wraps her mantle of love around every single being that I have mentioned. And she radiates her love from every ounce of her being. She radiates her love from the magnificence of her own body. And Mother Mary has always been the seat of compassion, of generosity, of tenderness, of love, of mercy, of grace. Her very presence always speaks of peace on this planet. Peace is possible. Peace is a goal that we are working towards. And now we move that golden ball of light into our sacral. And as we watch the golden ball mix with the orange light of our sacral, we recognize the vitality and the energy that is in the sacral because this is where we give birth. And the goddess that steps forward in the sacral is Lady Nada. She is the one who helps with the birthing process. She is there for the delivery of every new baby. She is also there to bring back 
the souls of those who have changed their mind about the earthly journey. She is the one who is in charge of a nursery for the newly minted souls that turn around and come back, whether it's from abortion, whether it's from miscarriage, whether it's from SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, whatever or an accident, whatever has happened, that that soul is returning, she will take care of it. And there are beings and sometimes animals that work very closely with Lady Nada because they too, their mission is to help those newly minted souls with their journey, with their process, with whatever it is that they have chosen to do. And Lady Nada is usually has roses, as do many of the goddesses. And a beautiful, beautiful pink set of roses, as is her garment also in rose. And now we move into the solar plexus. We move into the third chakra. And in the third chakra, we take our golden ball of light and mix it with the yellow light until the yellow light that is as brilliant as the sun and we mix that golden ball and expand that sun within our self. And we take and step forward into the realm of St. Teresa but there are two of them. There's St. Teresa, the little flower, and she is also seen with roses, and St. Teresa of Vila. Avila is a little town in Spain. But they are both here to help you with your own self-expression the best of who you are to help you bring forward who you really are and to help you give voice to that and not be timid about it.
we bring our golden ball of light into the throat. I'm sorry, into the heart. We bring it into the fourth chakra, into the heart. And the goddess that steps forward is Our Lady of Lourdes, along with Saint Bernadette. And Our Lady of Lourdes gave Bernadette a mission. She told her to dig in the soil, and this is the middle of winter, until she reached a spring that would heavenly water would flow. And that spring became an amazing torrent of water, a river of water. And anyone who goes to Lourdes and who walks into the water notices immediately that they are saturated with wetness as they step into the water, but when they step out, they are dry. And Lourdes is, has been inundated with all the miraculous happenings that have happened there in terms of the lame, the thousands of pairs of crutches that have been hung around there for those who could not walk, but yet were completely cured of their affliction and other things. Things left behind in gratitude for the miraculous healing. Our Lady of Lourdes also brings a special peace. She radiates from her sacred heart, a special peace for this planet. And we tap into that peace. our golden ball of light into the throat chakra. And in the throat, the goddess that steps forward is Mary Magdalene. She is a representative of the feminine, the divine, that encourages us to connect with the divine as we speak our truth. Our truth as we know it on this planet. Our truth as we express it on this planet. And our truth as we gather with like-minded individuals. And we notice that our throat feels more comfortable 
and more full and more genuinely ours that we do not have to hold back our truth in order to make somebody else feel comfortable or somebody else feel more important. We can express what we think, what we feel, and we ask that it be in alignment with divine truth. We know that violence has never cured anything. Violence begets Violence. Truth begets truth. And sometimes we feel as if we are nothing but children playing in a sandbox, throwing sand at each other because we don't know better. We haven't grown up yet as a race. But as we align more with divine truth, we accept the higher purpose for which we came. And one of that purpose is to help usher Mother Earth into the fifth dimension. The fourth dimension is time. We're in that. We're moving into the fifth dimension. And of course, it feels rocky at times, but we are flushing out whatever doesn't serve us. As a race, we have one race on this planet. It is called human. Other races are there, but they're from other planets. So we have one human race here that we identify with. And now we move the golden light into our brow chakra, into the third eye. And here we meet the goddess known as Anna. She is the grandmother of Jesus. And one of her special gifts is spreading the knowledge of how to rejuvenate your cells so that instead of aging, you are reversing the aging process. Through all the initiations that she had in the Egyptian mystery schools. Anna, the grandmother of Jesus, brings you a very special gift, that gift of rejuvenation. And you start with meditation. Every single time 
you spend the time to meditate, you are actually reversing the aging process because you are aligning with your cosmic self. You are aligning with that part of you that is not limited by any restrictions imposed by humans, imposed by science, imposed by any kind of scientific principles that they say are inflexible, unbendable, unchanging. You step beyond that. And Anna helps you with that process. So she invites you to call on her as a presence in your life. Over centuries, she was initiated into multiple Egyptian schools. So she had many techniques that she used that she will share with you as a human, as long as you give her sufficient time to reach you and trust and believe what she tells you. She is there for us to help those of us who have God-like intentions for peace and prosperity for all, for liberation, for freedom, for all. Power with, not power over, for all. Power with the divine creator. So call on her. Many tend to overlook Anna, the God grandmother of Jesus. Okay. And now we move into the crown. And in our crown, is the best of what we are. Our crown connects us to the divine. That is the purpose of the pineal gland and the pituitary gland. They open up our connections to our divine self. That is the purpose of the thousand petal lotus that sits at the top of our head. Instead of having it closed because we feel we are unworthy, too busy, too harried, we sit and we contemplate on what it is to align with all the benefits of an open crown. The thousand petal points of light that encircle your head. And the goddess that steps forward for the crown is Kuan Yin. She is the Asian version 
of the Blessed Mother. And for those of you who may have taken it upon yourself to read the story of Kuan Yin, you will probably remember that the legend started with Kuan Yin as a male. So Kuan Yin was originally masculine. And then over the years and in repeating the legend, Kuan Yin went from masculine to feminine, to being a feminine goddess. And what I find so interesting about that legend is that we have both a masculine side and a feminine side a logical side to our brain and an intuitive side to our brain. So one of our goals as humans is to harmonize and balance both sides of the body, both sides of the brain. And Kuan Yin is the perfect representative of the goddesses to help you with that. Because in her history, she started out as a masculine figure and morphed into a feminine figure. And Kuan Yin brings so much grace and peace and love and understanding to your journey. So we now take all the goddesses that have shown up in our chakras and we ask them, we <clears throat> ask them to merge into our heart so that we have a place that we keep them in our heart and we can call on them as we need them, call on them when we want a particular quality, a particular virtue, a particular passage to show up in our life. We take that golden ball of light and we swirl it around the goddesses and place the each goddess in our heart. And we take a deep breath in and exhale. And another deep breath in and exhale. And a third deep breath in and exhale. And we thank the goddesses for accompanying us on this meditative journey, this Reiki share today. And we ask and understand that they are there. They're available to us anytime.
we call on them. We activate their presence in our life by calling on them. They already exist inside of us. And we thank the goddesses. We thank our higher self. And we thank all the participants on the screen for taking part in this journey. And we send the light of grace to Ukraine. We send the light of grace to Putin. We send the light of grace to the world that it effectively learn how to manifest peace, peace in our day, peace in our lives, peace for all its inhabitants, vegetable, animal, mineral, human. Namaste. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you for being here. And Lisa, I'm so glad to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. And Jennifer, wonderful to see you. Thank you. Uh, Melvin, I I love your beads. I always admire those every time I see them. And uh, then Joyce, I know, I think you were first on, so I'm going to call on you first for, uh, uh, for just uh, any kind of feedback you'd like to share. That was just extremely relaxing and not, and for me, educational. And um, I just enjoyed hearing all the things about the different um, goddesses and what they did. And I really want to go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally calmed you down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, Melvin. Uh, good morning, everybody. I always come. Oh, yes. And thank you for the awareness of sending peace to Putin. And may he see light and love and light to all the others that are affected yeah. uh, directly, indirectly, and otherwise. And um, I come because I'm all, I come because I want to metaphorically keep my batteries charged, yeah. <laughs> keep my energy space charged. And to be a better person, the way I interact with my professional colleagues on a day-to-day -day, on a day-to-day -day basis at work, and to try those uh, and apply those spiritual principles, and it's easier said than done, uh, but it's worth it because sometimes some people that you interact with may not have seen what intelligent interaction looks like, and so. Yeah. That's it for me, and I'll close with that. Thank you. Appreciate that. And Barb, always glad to see you on, on board. Thank you. That was wonderful, Alice. I love running through the chakras and that type of meditation. To me, that's what a Reiki share is, cleaning out the cobwebs. Lady Nada is special to me. She came to me when I was nine and injured. So yeah. it's really nice to have her with me again. And yeah. I'm going to hold on to her. Good. <laughs> and Good. you. You're a very Thank special you. person in my life. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Lisa. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's just so rare that I get a Sunday off. So the first thing I thought of this morning, I was so grateful. Um, Alice, I can't thank you enough for adding such a change in my life and just renewing. You know, sometimes we're so used to saying, okay, we have to believe this. We have to, you know, just be in a certain sense of of, of just the flow, but not really believing in it. And um, yeah, I, I feel such a transformation. So I thank you and everyone here. Love, right. love to everyone. Thank you, Lisa. All right. And I think that's Anna Christina that says iPad. 
Yes, that's me. I Hi. I walked Anna Christina around yesterday in Reiki, <laughs> Reiki too. So that was fun. <laughs> so, it really was. It really uh, was. I keep thinking, tell them where you're coming from. Oh, I'm in Newport, Rhode Island. Yeah. So it was it was great to have you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It was it was amazing. I mean, um, I felt so included. I, I know that I was the only one that was, um, you know, on on video, but I really felt included, even though, you know, you guys had separate conversations and I'm sure you guys did ahead of a, a different bonding. But thank you for including me and, and really putting me through all of the steps and, and really um, having me go in you know in the way that you guys were going in and it really made a difference so I, I i had taken reiki one and we were you know all isolated and we couldn't be together um but then moving up here and having the reiki two and you guys were all there and me just being the one online you know really made me see the difference of how you really put reiki through in you know in person um so with that, um, you know, of course I had to come today because I was like, I have to continue this feeling. I just, I had such a, a great experience yesterday. I absolutely loved it. And I'm so grateful to you for, you know, enveloping all of us into that. And just, just the, it was miraculous what everyone just brought up. I just enjoyed it so much. So thank you for that. And thank you for today. It just continued to the trend. Thank you, Anna Christina. And Katie, well. Uh... I also, I was supposed to have a soccer game at this time and it got rescheduled for 1130. So I was like, what do I need? And it was like, Reiki. <laughs> um, that was so beautiful, Alice. I went on a retreat last weekend and I'm still integrating some things from that and having a lot of stuff showing up in my body. So I like really have this sense of like needing some Reiki to just kind of help move some things through. And I won't share all of it, but one piece that I want to share is that I've had this sense that like I've had ideas and dreams and like goals all my life and like they've never gotten out of my head. I've always had an early death um, and I'd be really hard on myself about that of like, why can't I do things for me? Right. And what came up to me this, this, this week is like, no, they're not dead. It's like, I've been squirreling them away, like little acorns in winter time. Right. And, and mother earth has just been holding them and, 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 and when I'm ready, they'll, I'll, I'll, be I'll retrieve those acorns and I will share them with the world and and lady nada very much resonated with me in that of a lot of the, that's one of the metaphors that's coming is like they're almost like miss you know ideas that have miscarried right <laughs> like so I'm, I'm i feel like i want to spend a little bit more time with her she's one i have not heard of before so thank you for that excellent google her because she's uh one of my clients had a dog and I initiated, uh, who was a healing dog, and I initiated him the day into uh, Reiki master teacher, the day before he had to be put to sleep. He was a greyhound. And he showed up immediately the next day with Lady Nada. So mm -hmm. his name was Willow. So if you're doing work with Lady Nada, he might, if, if a greyhound shows up, then, then just say the word Willow and see if he responds. So anyway yeah. that's fantastic thank you and jennifer hey good morning um good this morning. is the first time i've been able to join a reiki chair so i had zero expectations which i love um i was coming in with a blank slate um i really appreciated hearing about divine feminine energy um which we don't always get um in such a concentrated fashion so that was really lovely and educational at the same time of course as you know having been with me all day yesterday the speaking your truth is um very resonating for me um and just not being afraid of where i'm headed and what's coming up so that that resonated for me as did the complete and total knowledge that i changed my brainwave state in the way you were talking so 
in the beginning, I was sort of fidgeting and trying to calm down and get settled. And then by the time we were on the third or fourth chakra, I could tell that I was not asleep, but not awake. And, um, and that's, um, that's a remarkable journey to go on today. So uh, much needed. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And Jennifer too was, was part of our Reiki too. So I'm so thrilled to see you gals here. Thank you. Andrea. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Alice. Uh, I was going in and out. Your voice is so soothing. Um, and I also appreciated you bringing the, the feminine energy and the goddesses in. And I would say that Anna really resonated with me. Um, I was not aware that she was uh, the grandmother of Jesus, but it was very comforting to know that I could ask her for help So when I needed it. So thank you for that. Absolutely. We, we tend to forget that uh, and, and when I was uh, meditating on the chakras, they came in, they told me who, who wanted to be part of which chakra. I didn't choose them. Um, they chose the chakra. So it was, uh, that was a wonderful journey for me. Let's see if uh, Corrine is in the background. Uh, Hello. Everybody hears me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sorry, but I fell asleep immediately. I lay down and I fell asleep. I'm so sorry, but I had my 12 shift, <laughs> 12 shift hour behind me. And I was like, nope, I'm going to stay up. I'll be up. And I don't know. I did my three breaths and I was done. I was gone. Oh, okay. Sorry, but okay. I'm going to listen again. Yeah. <laughs> listen to it again. And then when when you have more, more energy. So... Okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Corinne. But I'm glad you at attempted it. And yes. Judy, Judy is on in the background. Uh, she's Hi, can you hear me, Alice? Yes. Oh, thank you for that. That was beautiful. Um, yes, I am in agreement with everyone that we really needed this divine feminine energy um, to just be going with the flow but sending love and light uh, to the evil, the dark that we always talk about, one can't exist without the other. Mm -hmm. And to put that kind of energy in our circle of light and love and to be sending that, to hope for that change that, you know, that everyone is possible with free will to change. And that so many lives are affected by one is, it, it's you still can't really fathom that but with all our heart love and our light going to the situation um, instead of moving to that place of hatred to hold everyone in love and light right. and when you started I I just knew in my heart Virgin Mary would be the first to pop up yeah. and I do remember her being cited over the years so powerfully in Poland Mm -hmm. And that I think it was Pope Francis that had such an affinity to Virgin Mary, as well as the Black Madonna that resides in Poland. And when you finished with Kuan Yin, Kuan Yin also resonates so strongly with me and her masculine form was Avaloka Tishvara. So that also resonates and that we are all male and feminine and coming into harmony and knowing we do all have free will and to never give up on somebody to always just hope for that last glimmer of light and uh, to hold sacred space and know that our minds have power, our hearts have power and to try and soften that all and send love to all those people suffering, to all people suffering and uh, to world leaders, very important. So thank you for that beautiful meditation. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And let's see who else is in the background. Julie. Julie's in the background. Good morning, Alice and everyone. Um, I, I could say ditto to everything that Judy just said. That's exactly what I'm feeling. I have to say uh, love and light is what I keep hearing. And it feels so after doing the medica meditation, I feel so encompassed. Mm. And I feel that that energy definitely would be going to Ukraine and to Putin, just that enveloping love and light. And I think I, I pray that, you know, they, they receive that energy. I too have a very strong connection with Kuan Yin. I don't know why I really don't know 
too much about her, which really reminds me to go and, and, and research her more, I, I, maybe because I'm half Asian, I don't know. <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, yeah. I do have a very, very strong connection to her just intuitively without really knowing why. So I have to say this really helped on an energetic level. And I, I think it was, it was just so incredibly beautiful. So thank you so much. Thank you. And the last one is Liz Faye. She's in the background. Thanks, Allison. Sorry, I'm not on camera. I have a new camera for my computer and I haven't figured out how to set up the settings with Zoom yet. So no problem. Um, but thank you. I, I probably like everyone has been watching the news and I was looking forward to this meditation because I, I know there's power in meditating in groups and sending love and healing yeah. to that region. And thank you for including Putin because that's, that's what's needed is to send love and light there. Uh, if you, if I were on camera, you would see, I, I, for some reason, and not for some reason, I guess I was guided. I'm dressed completely all in root color red today. And wow. before we started, um, and I also have a, a deep connection with the Blessed Mother. I, I picked up a piece of quartz that I had found on some travels um, on the shore of Sea of Galilee. And so when you kept saying the Blessed Mother and Anna and it just it just resonated um, quite a bit today. So I, I I feel very relaxed, but I also feel very um, very much like we were we were able to send send some healing. So I'm really okay. grateful for that, and I hope you have a wonderful and safe safe trip, Alice. Thank you, thank you. I I'm looking forward to it. A trip that we had paid for three years ago canceled two years ago, canceled last year, it's finally gonna take place this year. So from March 3rd through March 16th, we will be in Florence and side trips to Pisa, side trip to uh, Assisi for me, uh, some in the Tuscan area. So anyway, uh, I, my, my son did a semester abroad in uh, Florence. So at least this isn't my first exposure to it, but still, un, un, unbelievably rich history there. So anyway, but I'll be thinking of all of you and I'll catch up with the meditations when I come back. So Melvin will be on uh, the, the next week, Sunday. Just remember, you have to put in your passcode and uh, that uh, uh, to get in. So uh, please make sure that um, you have that. And Melvin, do you, I know it's 0308, I think 28 is the passcode. Is Am I correct on that? Oh, it's in the email that goes out. Yeah, that's right. And, and I'm correct, 030828. And it is in the email. It is in the email. So no, uh, you know, I don't want anybody to feel like, geez, I can't get in, you know, so. Uh, anyway, but uh, thank you all. Have a blessed, have a safe, uh, you know, week. And uh, I thank you again for being here. Thank you, Take Alice. Care, we'll miss you. We'll Please. miss you, Bye. Alice. Have a good time. Thank you. Thank you, Alice. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye now. <laughs>